Uh, so, Frank, first round exit to the competition. Can I set your thoughts on that game today? Yeah, I'm really proud of the lads. You know, the game was in the balance, obviously, on, until the red card. Um, I thought we started the game really well. Um, obviously, they were going to come into it. They got some quality attacking players. So we knew what we had to cope with tonight. And I thought we coped with it quite well. There was always going to be a threat all game. But I thought collectively we defended as a team really well from the front right to our back three throughout the game. Um, like I said, we took the lead with a decent finish. Jack Goodman was outstanding tonight. I thought the work rate, he deserved the goal he got. Um, Tad unlucky with the chance that he gets where I think it's a handball he's in. You know, that for me is a red card the other way because yes, um, Jack's, you know, he's, he's put him down on the floor and the lad, if it's not a foul, the lad scooped it with his hand and that's a really defining moment of the game because he goes in 1v1 with the goalkeeper and in the form he's in and the way he played tonight, I believe he scores. Um, so really difficult moments, you know, but I'm really proud of the boys. I said to them at the end of the game, everybody walks out of there with their, with their heads held high because we gave it 100%, played some really good football at times against a difficult team that press you high and stop you from playing out at the back. So we had to, you know, we had to miss, miss out the midfield at times and, and our forward competed all game um, but you know you, you, you give Lincoln um, the credit they deserve because they kept going when they when they went 1-0 down and like I said they had some quality players and some quality opportunities themselves that they made but again you know if you look at the clinicalness of, of them with their finishing and the chances that we've had you know the Josh Lindley one just at the end there if that goes in that you know we, it raises our tails again and, and we keep going and maybe go into extra time and, and keep battling but I was really proud that was probably the best move of them of the of the game for ourselves where we played it from the back right through played through them and we just we just lacked that little bit of confidence and belief that we could do that when we had 11 men on the pitch um, when we went down to 10 obviously there was nothing to lose um, so we had a right go at it and obviously they they do us with the final goal on the counter but like I said, we'll get around um, Woody today, you know, because, you know, he must be feeling really bad and feeling that he's let everybody down, but he hasn't, he hasn't let anybody down. I know him, I've worked with him for the last, well, since the time that I've been at the club and he's one of the most honest boys that we've got at the football club and there's no way he goes in to hurt him. I've not been able to see the tackle yet to see how, how bad it actually is um, to comment on that, but, you know, the... They'll have to show a little bit of character now because it's you know there's bigger things than the FA Youth Cup that these boys are trying to achieve and for me that's trying to earn professional contracts and these second years have not got a lot of time to play with so um, you know the focus goes back to the league and how they develop for the rest of the season and we'll be supporting them all the way through. I mean you mentioned the red card and the missed on ball. Do you think it were a case of on another day it could have been a different outcome today? Yeah, that, that, that's it. The, you know, the referees made a call. I thought I was a bit disappointed with how quickly he went to the red. I thought he could have maybe, you know, gathered himself a little bit more and really thought about, you know, the extent of the decision that he was going to make. And, um, you know, it, it was it was a quick decision. But like I said, I've not seen the tackle. So I can't really comment on, you know, whether the right referees made the right decision or not, but it's just a shame because it spoiled a, a really good game that was in the balance that could have gone either way. And, um, you know, obviously uh, that that was what it was. At the end, You obviously we're chasing the game and, and like I said, we're just trying to get back in it. You know, our centre-halves are getting forward and trying to help, uh, help the ball on and, and see if we can sniff anything out. And like I said, the best move we had of the game was, was the one when we had uh, 10 men. And, you know, it's just a shame Josh Lindley couldn't finish that off because, you know, I thought the boys deserved something out of the game tonight for the effort they put in. Um, and finally, on to the weekend, back to league football. Uh, how yeah. do you think the team have to respond to tonight? Sorry again, sorry? How do you think the team have to respond to tonight? Yeah, we have to we have to lift ourselves as part of football. You know, there's so you know they'll they'll all learn they'll, as long as they're in the game. There's always going to be disappointments, and we've all had them. But it's it's not about the disappointment. Um, it's about what you learn from it and how you react and come back from that. And you know, it's a quick turnaround again, straight into preparation for Grimsby tomorrow. And um, we'll just uh, you know try and have a good account of ourselves uh, come Saturday.